Yeah. I'm just in shock. I can't believe. I'm from the highway. I would have never expected anything close yeah. to being like this. I never pictured Montana, anything like this. This is absolutely amazing. It's a good thing Dave can't see where I'm standing. Today, our adventure starts at the historic Ewing Snell Ranch. In 1896, at 50 years old, Eurastus T. Ewing was brought to the Bighorn Mountains by a gold strike on Bald Mountain. And of course, he had big hopes of finding the mother load. After finding very little gold, Mr. Ewing decided to try his hand at ranching. In April of 1897, he was appropriated 200 inches of water per year from Layout Creek. This water was used to water grain, hayfields, orchards, and gardens. And later in 1898, there was enough prospectors and squatters in the area to justify a post office and mail route. The post office was out of the Ewing home, and you guessed it, Mr. Ewing was the postmaster until his death in 1904, where the post office was later moved just five miles north to the Lockhart Ranch. In 1920, Philip and Alma Snell bought the Ewing Ranch and became the longest residents to inhabit the ranch. everybody we're up here in the Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area on the, Mon Montana. on the Montana side and we're gonna do the upper layout uh, trail which is gonna take us all the way up this way and it's just gonna be beautiful these are the kind of special hikes that we would never find on our own Tony and Richard are subscribers to our channel and are taking us up on this hike and it's one of their favorite hikes in the area. And so far it's pretty impressive. We totally would have missed out on this and the big canyon below, which is incredible. The smell of these juniper trees is really strong today. I love that smell. Going through a little bit of a boulder field here, working our way up the canyon. Hopefully gonna end up at the top. How's it going, Carrie? I'm a little tired. <laughs> Already out of shape from our big hike? I think so. It doesn't take long. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he drinks more water than we do. Where is our rock climber friends? Cause that's a steep one there. Wow. Where are the mountain goats? Yep, there is mountain goats in the area. We just haven't seen any yet. Unless you count Rudel. Finally, we're in the shade and it cooled down. It feels like a good 10, 15 degrees. It feels very nice through here. And we're I think as soon as we get out of the trees here, we might be up on top. We're getting pretty close to our destination.
We are at the end of the trail here and it ends with the waterfall. And I really like the way the water comes off this ledge. You take a shower? Yep. It's cold. <laughs> that feels good. We made it to the end of the trail, which ended at a beautiful waterfall. Had a little picnic up here. The only thing that I think we missed out was our hammocks. We could have strung up a hammock out here and took a little midday snooze. That would have been pretty cool. Just an outstanding hike. Had a good time. We are heading our way back down into the canyon. And it looks like it is way down there from here. And it's pretty darn steep. This kind of shows you how steep it is. Coming down, you just about have to have a handhold because the gravelly rocks make you want to slide right on down. How do we keep finding these really steep? I don't know. We're good at it. You gotta go to the top. It's nothing for Rudel. But it's a really good view looking down the canyon from here. Is that a deer? No, I think it's a goat. Ooh. Oh, look at the babies. We walked not even a mile from an empty parking lot with no people on this trail to get to this point here. I'm not sure how far we are above the river, but if I had to guess, I would say 700 feet. It's pretty far down there. 
Wow. I think it's absolutely breathtaking. It really is amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It's a little bit smoky out, but still. Yeah. I'm just in shock. I can't believe. I'm from the highway. I would have never expected anything close yeah. to being like this here at all. I wouldn't even slow down. No. You're a little close to the edge, aren't you, Dave? Yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area was designated in 1966 after the completion of the Yellowtail Dam. This resulted in a 71 mile long Bighorn Lake extending the entire length of Bighorn Canyon. The Bighorn River is unique because the headwaters are in the Wind River Range. So the first 185 miles, it is called the Wind River. But near Thermopolis, Wyoming, the Wind River suddenly becomes the Bighorn River. And it remains as such for the remainder of its 460 mile journey into the Yellowstone River. This is the most cars we've seen in the parking lot and there's only three of us here. And this place is free to come visit. You don't have to pay any money. And it comes with views like this. Absolutely incredible. It reminds me of places in Utah, places in Arizona. And those places have a lot more people. I never pictured Montana anything like this. This is absolutely amazing. It's a good thing Dave can't see where I'm standing. He would be freaking out a little bit. How gorgeous is this? Okay. area also divides the Crow Reservation. The Crow consider the land around the canyon to be sacred and guarded as a genuine wilderness, allowing only access to tribal members. This means that the recreational area has a north district in Montana and a south district in Wyoming. Without a boat, visitors wanting to see both districts will have to drive around the Crow Reservation by public highway. It is amazing. This is something you would see at the Grand Canyon. Way over on one of the other rims, I saw some more bighorn sheep. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got to add kayaking down this canyon onto our must-do list. Yes, that's all I can think about. It's got to kayak that. Yes, we have to river. get a, have to get some kayaks in there. Not this year, maybe next. I can't believe how beautiful this is. And this is in Montana. It starts in Wyoming. Yeah, I know. I didn't picture Wyoming or Montana looking like this. It's a fairly warm September day. And I'm just thinking about like in less than a month, I guess in this area will be on the very chilly side and quite possibly have some snow up here, which I wouldn't mind coming back and visiting it then too.
Did I forget to mention, you might just see wild horses in Bighorn Canyon. 31,000 acres are set aside as a public range for wild horses in this area. like to support our channel please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com we also have stickers available in our website store thank you for watching